Integer overflow is no joke. Nerds and geeks hacked games to have 3x, 4x, or thousands of lives in the game to beat up the bosses. Integer overflow is a common issue in C++ programming that can lead to various software vulnerabilities including unexpected behavior, data corruption, security breaches, and ability to change the data inside the application. Well, of course, if there is no checking process involved. An integer overflow occurs when an arithmetic operation attempts to create a numeric value that is outside the range that can be represented with a given number of bits. For example, in a system where integers are represented using 32 bits, attempting to store a value greater than 2 to the power 32 minus 1, the maximum value for a 32-bit signed integer would result in an overflow. Why it's problematic? Overflow can lead to unexpected results where the integer wraps around to a negative number or a much smaller number than intended. This behavior can cause logic errors, corrupt program data, or create security vulnerabilities. Look at this code. In this example, calculate area multiplies two integers. If width and height are large enough, the result exceeds the maximum value a 32-bit integer can hold, causing an overflow. Instead of the correct area, the program prints a negative number or an incorrect positive biggest number. Number. Use larger data types. By using in 64 a 64-bit integer, the function can handle much larger values without overflowing, like in this example. Or check for overflow before performing operations. This code includes a function will multiply overflow to check if the multiplication of two integers will cause an overflow. The function safe multiply uses this check before performing the multiplication. Also, utilize safe and a popular mass libraries. C++ SL doesn't include this and uh, you have to search for it, like uh, libraries boost or something like that. Well, I love boost. Understanding and preventing integer overflow is essential for writing robust and secure C++ programs. By employing strategies such as using larger integer types, forming pre-operation checks, and utilizing safe mass libraries, you can significantly reduce the risk of unintended behavior and vulnerabilities in your code. As with many aspects of programming, being proactive about potential issues is key to maintaining the integrity and security of your applications.